Hello traders and welcome to tradingwithbill.com on a Thursday, June 8th, 2017. Traders, great to be with you. Cloudy skies, really windy. Feels like a mini hurricane here today in Thailand. Um, not good weather this week. It's been uh, pretty horrible, I gotta be honest with you. We're going like into 14 days now of just crap weather. I gotta be honest. It is not a pleasant uh, week this week. Anyhow, it's also not a pleasant week in trading this week. We have seen these markets just do some really wild stuff and we're in for a wild day today as far as data goes. Um, we've got some stuff going out. We got the UK elections. We got the uh, ECB, all that stuff. You know what? Let's head over there and let's take a look at what's going on today. We'll just get right to it. And uh, Thursday, so what do we have um, in Asia already today? We had GDP quarter on quarter out of the yen today. And it came out bad. It came out at 0 0.3. They were expecting 0 0.6. Not a good number out of the yen today. Our current account came out good. Um, and that's about it. Coming up, um, which it won't be by the time this gets onto YouTube, unfortunately. But we do have the Aussie trade balance today coming out. We have China trade balance, which is a high impact uh, event to watch today. And as we as we move along, we have German industrial production today. Um, and that is all before the London session. Once we get into the London session, we do have French trade balance, uh, the Euro trade balance today, sorry. And then, of course, the big one is um, the UK general election uh, today. Um, then we have deposit facility rate, ECB interest rate decision. Then later on, about an hour after that, we have the press conference. Um, and this was talked about yesterday in the media that Draghi was going to speak today after the uh, data came out. And it's going to be kind of interesting to see if finally somebody's going to listen to him. Because after the last year and a half, nobody's listened to him. <laughs> like he talks and like the markets don't do anything. Um, but now with all this stuff going on, maybe people are going to start listening to him and see what he's going to do. So that's going to be very interesting to watch that. As we move on into the day, we have um, actually in the um, U.S. today, there is nothing. All they have is low impact. Bloomberg confidence, consumer confidence comes out today um, in the U.S. Really slow. Tomorrow, we have quite a busy day um, in Asia where we see um, the Aussie has home loans and then CPI for uh, China. You know, busy, busy day today as far as that stuff goes. Let's take a look at our commodities. Oil is at forty-five ninety-nine on Brent. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, WTI. Brent oil is at forty-eight thirty-eight. Folks, this is a great setup. If you trade oil, this is a fantastic setup. Watch your analysis. Get ready to buy oil. This is going back up to fifty. The issue is it's the end of the month. The issue is, are we going to be able to get this? By the time the end of the week starts, did I say end of month? I did. End of week. So, you know, we're going to get this tomorrow. What oil is going to rebound and take it turn to the upside? We'll see. It's going to be very interesting to watch. Uh, U.S. coffee is up 0.22 percent. Let's take a look at the indices. Let's see what happened with the market close yesterday. I did watch um, New York yesterday. I was trading options in New York. Did not take any positions. <laughs> the markets are just really wild i gotta be honest with you i'm enjoying it but i'm not getting into a lot of positions because they're i don't like the way it, the markets are bullish right the markets are bullish and i like to buy puts so you know it's not giving me any opportunities here however the s p 500 futures was down 0.03 percent nasdaq was down 0.02 percent the dow 30 was up 0.18 percent s p 500 vix negative 0.57 percent DAX down 0.14 percent, Nikkei 225 up 0.12 percent, dollar index up 0.08, still below that 97 or 96.75 as I speak. Your index is at 90.53, down negative 0.05 today. So what a wild ride to say the least, my friends. Uh, as we are in a Thursday, just want to make um, a statement, and that is please. Please, 
please trade a demo account today. There's no reason to get in the live market with all this going on today. We've got too much going out. This thing could whipsaw in any direction. We have no idea what's going to fly. I just encourage you to use a demo account. There's no need to get into live trades. I will not be getting into any live trades today at all. No reason to get in front of this double freight train that's coming down the track. Okay? All right. Let's take a look at some charts. We got some interesting stuff going on. Let's, as we do, take a look at the euro. Okay. Now, I know what you're saying. I know you all are saying, William, what's up with these charts? There's crap all over the place. You're right. You are correct. <laughs> There's way too much stuff on my charts, but it's very easy. These are just A, B, C, D patterns. That's all it is. If we get a harmonic pattern, it will say it's a harmonic pattern. And I'll be able to tell you if it's a crab, if it's a butterfly, if it's a gartley, whatever it is, we'll know. Okay. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at that this has decided to bounce up, bounce down. Remember, there's a 30 minute chart here, but it's staying in this nasty range. And I think it's like the lull before the storm, right? The euro is going to respond to the UK election, whether the president uh, May stays in or Corbyn gets it, whatever happens. And I have no knowledge on this politics in the UK, so I'm sure not going to go down that road. But as far as trading goes, I can see this is really, really nasty, and there's no reason to get in front of this trade, um, trade, trade, trade. I can speak, really. I can speak. It's early in the morning for me, but I can speak. <laughs> Let's get rid of this junk on the charts. There we go. Now we're back to regular charts here. So it's not bad. We just got these A, B, C, D patterns going, and it all looks good. We're clean for today on that one. Let's take a look at the New Zealand from yesterday. This trade plan is still in effect and I will hold I will hold this trade plan without erasing it um, un until Monday just to see if this breaks down I really think that this is an that we're at resistance here is it a top I'll never call that but we are at resistance on a 30 minute chart let's see if this is gonna break down remember we want to get in at 7170 now, you remember yesterday I talked about that and I wanted to make sure we had confirmation. And that is so important because if you would have seen this red candle under this red bar here, you would have entered this trade and you would have ended up probably getting stopped out. That's why we want confirmation. We want to put our entries far enough away that we're going to confirm that this pair is going to do what it looks like it wants to do. Okay, so we want to make sure. So this trade is still on the, on the table. We're going to leave it. We're not going to eliminate the chart. We're not going to eliminate the data on the chart. We'll see what happens uh, in the coming days. All right, what else do we got? Uh, and a lot of these are, well, I don't, I was going to say a lot of these are dollar pairs, but, you know, I don't know if that's the right comment to make because we just have so much going on and so much data coming out today. Who knows what this is? Here's a really good example of an ABCD pattern. If you take a look at this on the on the on the beast, the pound yen, A, B, C, D to the upside, sell from there, right? Harmonic patterns, reversal patterns. Also, harmonic patterns are all done with Fibonacci levels. These are all calculated with Fibonacci levels. So we should have seen a sell-off here. Did it do it? No. And you would have thought so because we have a 200 exponential moving average here. So you probably say, well, why is that? Well, one is, remember, we are on a 30-minute chart, and we've been working with one-hour charts, and sometimes they use two-hour charts. So we're working with 30-minute uh, charts. So, you know, price might just get through where we want to go, but we wanted to sell here. This is off the table. I wouldn't even consider entering a trade here. And, of course, we're not going to do anything in the pound, that's for sure. Um we take a look at the pound dollar nothing here to talk about so we'll just move along and the euro yen is here uh this is um my star trade for today it will be on a demo account if i take it but you know this is just in a great spot here we want to take this in at 123.60 you can see where the arrow is we'll get out of 122.80 you know this, this is a 70, 80 pip trade here. If we get in at the right spot, I will do it as a demo, but I would never do this as a live account. Like I said, I know I'm hammering that. I'm just really pounding that 
into you, my friends. We don't want to be trading live today. Do not trade live today. We could start tomorrow in 24 hours and we can be safe in our trades. So this is a good area here. You know, I just really like this. This, this to me is just so nice, right? That is just such a nice setup right there. And, uh, you know, we just, we just want to sell this, but not right here. All right. I think that wraps it up for me. I don't really have anything on the Aussie dollar today. Again, we're in an opportunity to sell here. It, it's a good trade setup as far as, you know, the pattern goes and with ABCD pattern. And it's, you know, it's at resistance. Well, now it's at support again, but, you know, it's resistance. So we need this to break, retest, and then come back down again. I'm not doing it today. Look at it on Monday. All right, traders, that's it for me. Now, as you know, I do not do a video on Friday. I have another obligation, and I, I, I can't do my video on a Friday. Traders, have a great weekend. Have a great trading day. It's going to be interesting today. Stay at your, stay at your computers. Watch the charts. And uh, the European session, the U.S. session is going to be a lot of fun today. Have a great trading day. Catch you on Monday. Take care now. Bye-bye.